Hey guys, it's Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you for joining me. So I am here uh, bringing you guys your weekly conversation for Twin Flames in Union. Yes. So this is Twin Flames um, in Union or <clears throat> in pending Union or, you know, you're in healthy, beneficial communication with each other. Yeah. Um, this is for those of us that don't identify with the full aspect of separation. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be doing a mirror reading for you. Um, I don't really have anything to say. I really said a lot of what I was experiencing in the separation video. Um, so if you want to hear any of that, please go right ahead. You might resonate with that. I feel like some of you will. So that's why I'm being guided to mention it. But um, otherwise, this is for Twins in Union. Yeah, and I'm going to be doing a mirror reading. So I'm going to be using um, these two decks here. This deck is going to symbolize the Divine Feminine Energy. And, sorry, that's my, my coffee is getting in the way here. Um, and then the deck on the left is going to symbolize the Divine Masculine Energy. Yields. So let's get into this. I'm just going to start shuffling. Spirit, uh, breathe, please bring forward... Oh, let's do it this way. Hold on a second. Please bring forward... The best messages for Twin Flame, the Twin Flame Collective, those of us that are in union, are in, um, in feel impending union, or um, are in beneficial communication and contact with each other, please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine um, at, at this time. Yes? Thank you so much, Spirit. So, we're going to channel the Divine Feminine. It's this deck is going to symbolize the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine in union. Impending union. In communication. I do know that the Divine Feminines that are in separation are really in a moment of reaching greater detachment and I feel I'm already feeling like those of you that are in union or moving closer and closer like you feel it impending you are experiencing this detachment as well let's see what comes out in the cards here for you but I was already picking up on that divine feminine okay great Cut the deck here. All right, Divine Feminine, your energies are set. All right, let's shuffle for the Divine Masculine now. Divine Masculine. And then the Divine Masculine, those of you that are, those of us that are in separation, the Divine Masculine is going through some major, major, major transformations. And obviously, just, you know, you guys that are in union or getting, have impending union or in communication, Divine Masculine, you guys are feeling that too. There are major shifts happening for you. Um, I did a reading for someone who is in communication with this woman. You know, they are in communication with each other and her divine masculine expressed to her that he's going through hell and she, yeah, that makes perfect sense. So let's see the divine masculine, what's going on with you? Okay, now let's cut the deck here. All right, now these are also, um, I didn't mention it, but this is kind of how this mirror reading works. This is also going to talk about how your energies are interacting with each other, yeah. So we're gonna start with the Divine Feminine here. Overall energy, we have the Two of Pentacles, Divine Feminine. Let me just adjust this a little bit more. Okay, overall energy, you're starting off with the Two of Pentacles, so you're balanced, um, and you're, you're doing your work. You're really, um, you're keeping a hold of things. You're clear. You have a lot of mental clarity right now. And you're very much like this woman who is, you know, baking, doing this baking here, whether it's a cake or whatnot, whatever. She's making something. She's following a recipe. And that's really um, standing out to me right now. For you, Divine Feminine, you're, you're following the steps that you know you need to continue to take in order to manifest that is what you, what, what you truly want. And this is more than just union. This is talking about, wow, there's a lot of balance here with the Two of Swords. 
All right. Um, woof. Divine Feminine, you are in a really good place. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles. And then underneath all of that, we have the Hermit in reverse, which is saying to me that you're actively coming out of Hermit mode. Many of you, you're coming out of hiding. You're coming out of, you know, you're coming out of, um, uh, out of this time of introspection um, and you are stepping into your power, you're stepping into your own, and you're getting on with it, okay? The Two of Swords tends to be, sometimes can be a little negative, but here in this sense, I'm not picking that up. What I'm picking up is balance on a mental level, which is represented in this woman meditating, and, you know, she looks very calm and peaceful, centered and balanced. So from a mental point of view, Divine Feminine, you're very, very balanced. From a physical point of view, you're 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 keeping things you're keeping things going you're keeping the momentum moving by continuing to do the things that you have been in the past and then with the queen of pentacles here you're you, i mean you're really in your power you know and it's funny because when i saw the hermit i i was my attention was drawn back to the queen of pentacles and you see how the you know you have this this couple um walking around in the summer in like a like the summer springtime ish enjoying the outdoors and here in the northeast of america it is springtime and this weekend specifically we finally got some really nice consistent weather okay so i feel like with the hermit in reverse for you divine feminine you're going out into nature you're 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 seeing you're, you're being social you know you're 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 experiencing experiencing life from a brand new point of view that you gained while in hermit mode yes Let's get into your storyline, Divine Feminine. We have, ah, the wheel. Okay. Uh, things are changing. Cycles are ending. Cycles are moving on. You're entering a new season within yourself. You are absolutely entering a new season within yourself. A new a new way of expressing, a new way of seeing, ex experiencing. And it's quite a beautiful thing. And we have the, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So um, what I'm getting here is... You're leaving something behind, Divine Feminine. You're because a cycle is ending, an old way of being is being left is being released. Okay, and this is um, this is like just a, reaching a new level, a new level of understanding, a new level of of um, carrying on, of expressing yourself, of living in the three D world, and it's really a positive thing. I really feel it. I mean, I, I can't necessarily put my finger on it because I'm speaking to so many different people right now, but there really is a growth that has happened here. And so it's not like you're no longer in the Nine of Pentacles state. You are in, a, in the Nine of Pentacles state still. You're just different <laughs> about it. You know, it's a different expression of this Nine of Pentacles. Moving forward, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse, okay, with... The just with justice in reverse, so there's a little bit of blockage here. Please excuse my silence. I'm just really trying to piece this together so far as what what I'm with what's coming through, because there's a there's an ending of a cycle. You know, the ten of wands, the ten, the, the, I'm sorry, not the ten of wands, but the wheel of fortune is bringing you um, a new cycle. Okay. But it fe I feel like for some of you, there may be some sort of delay um, when it comes to justice and the Ace of Wands. There's something that, you know, you're waiting for justice, waiting for justice, um, which is going to give you the clarity to move forward, the space to move forward. But there's a blockage within that. Um, but I am being reassured that with the wheel here, this is just about divine timing. It's not really something you can do anything about divine feminine. You just have to let it play out. And this could be what the nine of pentacles is say, stating to you. You're, you've kind of been in this limbo a little bit for some time. Um, just waiting for this cycle to end, waiting for this justice to come about. Um, and it's given you a whole new perspective. Now, this is what I couldn't put my finger on before with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's given you a whole new perspective about independence um, and asserting yourself also is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> so, okay. It's not. It's really not as bad as you think. You really just have to... 
you have to let the universe do handle this one for you. Okay, you just gotta go with the flow and let let time, let divine timing be at hand. Next, we have uh, judgment in reverse with uh, the three of cups. Um, the three of cups is upright. So for some of you divine feminines, if you are not necessarily in union, but you know, you feel it coming, or at least you're in communication with your divine masculine, <clears throat> this third party situation is what we're talking about here that, you know, justice isn't quite served, judgment isn't quite served yet. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, So now for, for divine feminines that are in impending union, um, you know, the divine masculine is really going through some serious stuff right now. So it's not like these things aren't going to happen. It's just that, and I just heard they are, it's just, you got to give it a little more time. Okay. There's a, there are a lot of intense shifts that are happening right now. 11, 11, a lot of intense shifts that are happening right now. And so all of the blockages that you maybe experience is not just not necessarily because you're doing anything wrong or you're not handling the situation correctly. It's really just because this is an intense process of change. Okay, so you just it may feel like it's blocked. So what these uh, what these reversals are really saying to me is like it feels like it's blocked. It feels like nothing's moving, but it actually really is underneath the surface. The wheel is still turning. Things are still being done. Okay, things are still getting done. What you're being advised to do, Divine Feminine, is to just remain balanced mentally and physically. Hold, remain the Queen of Pentacles that you are, the steadfast, logical, um, persevering, strong um, person that you are, energy that you have been, in order to really keep moving with this process. Finally, in your storyline, yeah, look, we've got the Devil in reverse with... The Nine of Wands. So look, things are being released. This, um, the devil, whatever the devil represents for you and your experience is being released. The Nine of Wands, um, this perseverance towards keeping up some sort of fight. Um, and I'm really picking up that for a lot of you, the devil in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse is finally letting go of the old paradigm. This came up for twins and separation, so it makes perfect sense. Finally letting go of the fight against the devil. I'm really, <laughs> I'm feeling like many of you are not even trying to acknowledge the devil anymore. And to be quite honest, that's the best way to handle it. Because even if you're acknowledging the, the devil energy, whether it's um, in a negative way, like, I'm going to fight you, I'm going to defeat you, blah, blah, blah. Or if it's just, like, interacting with the devil energy. Either way, you're still acknowledging it. You're still giving it some of your energy. You're still giving it some of your power. And what I'm feeling like here with the nine of wands in reverse and the devil in reverse, it's like, I, who are you? I'm sorry. What? I'm not, I'm, am I even really talking to and communicating with anything right now? Like, what's going on here? What is this? You know, it's like, uh, 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 puh, bye, moving on. I'm going to focus on other things. I'm not even going to give you my attention anymore. And that's excellent, Divine Feminine. That's really, that's really the best way to handle the devil energy. Don't even, don't even acknowledge it. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into the Divine Masculine now. Divine Masculine. Your overall energy is, hello, sir, the Emperor. Taking control of your life. Stepping into your Divine Masculine power. Um, stepping into your own authenticity, okay? And this is a transformation that's really happening for a lot of divine masculines out there, okay? That's excellent, excellent, excellent. We also have, ooh, the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Cups upright, and the Five of Pentacles, and also Death is peeking out underneath. So I'm gonna take both of them here. We have Five of Pentacles and we have Death. And so this is talking about the ending of situations that leave you feeling out in the cold. Um, and for the most part, Divine Masculine, this is how you've been expressing yourself through lack of authenticity. Because, it, because ultimately, you were leaving yourself behind. You were betraying yourself. Um, you were leaving yourself out in the cold. Now, for you, for those of you Divine Masculines in, um, in union or impending union, you're at least in communication with a beneficial, a healthy beneficial communication with your divine feminine, 
you are still going through this death, but for you it's upright. It's it's a little less of a struggle than it is for twins in separation. Um, now, with this Knight of Cups in reverse here, to me, this is talking about um, there may have been some struggle between you and your Divine Feminine in um, either wanting to communicate, express your love for her, um, or she wants to communicate that to you, but you don't feel ready to do so. Most of this is because of this change in the cycle that's happening. You're just, you're feeling unsure about a lot of things. So it's, it, it, you don't want to, you're not the type to um, make statements that you don't really mean. So that could be why you were holding back. So any divine feminines out there that are wondering why your divine masculine was holding back from um, expressing, like really expressing their love for you, that's why, because they just want to make sure they have the footing or the, you have, they have the footing to back up what they, the words that they put forward towards you. Okay. And also the, uh, I didn't mention the nine of cups, but, um, I really don't, didn't need to because it's kind of self-explanatory wishes are coming true. Okay. Um, divine guidance is correct is what I'm hearing. So you can, you can rest assured that whatever it is you're being guided towards from the divine, it's leading you in the right direction and wishes will be fulfilled throughout, yes? All right, in your storyline, we're starting off with the Eight of Cups. Yep. Walking away from unfulfilling situations, um, taking your power back, choosing authenticity over status, material status, yeah? Coupled with the tower, but a tower is in reverse. So, um, what I'm really picking up here is mostly, this is not resistance of the tower. It's just, it's like you're finally learning the lesson that the tower was trying to bring forward to you. And now you're taking those steps away. And it's so interesting because I just caught a glimpse. This, there's a female figure right here in the tower and I've never really seen it that way. Wow. But this is for some of you divine masculines that are in communication with your divine feminine. You're really walking away from a karmic partner, whether that be um, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, uh, um, a business partner, a an, uh, husband or wife that you're like literally divorcing now. And that also came out with the Knight of Cups. And I didn't mention it, but it was one of the first things I saw. You're no longer giving this, this, this love to this karmic partner. Okay. And it's weird that I'm in the, I'm, I'm, I'm in this reading for, you know, twins that are in union or are in impending union. And we're talking about karmic relationships. This did not come up in the, in the, um, well, I specifically didn't mention karmic relationships in the twin flames and separation video, but I am here and I'm feeling like, I mean, it's coming up, it came up in the divine feminine and now it's coming up in the divine masculine. So there really is some movement towards union in the shape of releasing karmic partners, okay? Whether that be friends, family, jobs, relationships, whatever, romantic relationships, whatever. You're really walking away from this now, divine masculine, and it's excellent. It's really excellent, and the divine guidance is correct. You are listening to the divine guidance that is leading you to walk away from something that was unfulfilling and towards your wish being fulfilled. So good on you, divine masculine. Next we have, ah, look, the queen of wands with the Queen of Pentacles. My, my, my. So there, here's your, um, there's some mirroring right there. And what this is saying to me is you are recognizing the value of your divine feminine here. You are seeing her as the fiery, passionate, um, sexy, charismatic, uh, spiritually awakened, enlightened being that she is while also being a good wife, mother homemaker, if that's her thing, um, knows how to hold down the family, hold down the fort. And this tower moment really did help you rec recognize this. I mean, that's what it was there for, to be honest. It showed you the discrepancy between the person, the comic partner you were with and what exactly it is you want in a partner. And who else to fulfill that but your divine feminine? 
I know that's right. <laughs> All right, moving forward, Divine Masculine, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Look at this, guys. You really are mirroring yourselves. Nine of Wands, and both of them are in reverse here because the Divine Feminine got that too. With, ooh, the Two of Cups in reverse. So... This is really talking about, we're really talking about karmic relationships here. You're done fighting for a karmic, a karmic relationship that no longer serves you. Okay? The Two of Cups is reversed here because it's talking about a situation that, yes, was somewhat of a soulmate, but it's just not, it's not the best option anymore. It's not serving, it's not serving that purpose anymore. It's not serving to you're not learning from it you're really not benefiting from it anymore you're just and, and you're done fighting for that okay you finally come to the realization that you know this isn't right for me and you're actively taking the steps to move away from it so excellent divine masculine and finally we have, ooh, we have the eight of swords with oh the ten of cups in reverse some of you are afraid you're afraid that this isn't necessarily going to work out the way you think or the way you want it to. Um, and that is why the message came through of the guidance is correct. Divine guidance is correct. Um, and that actually has been a message for me quite often lately because I've been kind of in an eight of swords state thinking that certain things that I've, certain actions that I've taken so far on my journey have completely blown things out of the water, but I'm being reminded, and just like you are being reminded, Divine Masculine, that you are receiving these messages and this guidance from us, from from source, from your higher self, and you just need to trust and follow that the steps you are taking are leading you to your ultimate fulfillment, to your Ten of Cups. Now, for some of you, the Ten of Cups is in reverse because. Um, you know, you're ending a karmic relationship. Uh, you feel like you're unsure as to whether or not this is actually going to lead you to the Ten of Cups that you want. Because for some of you, it may be that your relationship with your Divine Feminine isn't really, uh, isn't may, may not be on the up and up. There may be some aspects of it where you feel like you guys may not be able to reconcile. But I'm here to tell you that everything, you can't, you will be able to. You will be able to. You don't have to be afraid, okay? Just keep walking in your truth, walking your path, walking in your authenticity. Yes, Divine Masculine? That authenticity is the name of the game here, for sure. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so now we're going to get into the relationship reading uh, from the Animal Spirit deck. All right, so let me just shuffle this up a little bit here for us. All right, Spirit, please bring forward the best messages for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine in relation to this mirror reading for those twins who are in union or are in impending union, are coming forward towards union, feel it coming, are in beneficial communication with each other, that sort of thing. Please bring forward the best message in relation to their relationship. Yeah? Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, one more shuffle. And then I'll cut the deck. And we'll get into this, yeah? All right, let's cut. One, two, three. All right, so Divine Masculine on the left here, you are represented by Moth. Divine Feminine on the right, you are represented by Buffalo. The uh, shadow dynamic of the situation, we have, woo, hyena. <laughs> And the illuminated aspect is Cheetah. All right, let's get into this. Give me just a second here. All righty, kids. Divine Masculine, you are Moth. Here. Here we go. Moth. Impulsive, hasty, and wishful. The moth is sure to grass, I'm sorry, the moth is sure the grass is greener on the other side. Moth energy is at play when we're attracted to easy solutions or anything shiny and new. 
This can lead to unfinished projects, disappointment, or burnout. It's helpful to remind moth personalities that life is complex. No matter the illusion, no one is exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey. Practice seeing life as an infinite mystery rather than wishing it were easier, uh, it was easier or different. When in balance, moth is enthusiastic and whimsical. When out of balance, moth idealizes others, is jittery. To bring into balance, one must finish a project. So this is really talking, Divine Masculine, this is talking about this energy that was coming through with the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Cups here. It's like, you don't, you don't quite get it. You don't quite get it. You know that the Ten of Cups is not with this karmic situation that you're in, but you don't quite get why you, why? Why? Well, who, who knows why? All we know is that this isn't right, so just move away. Move forward. Be authentic. Your answers will come through authenticity, okay? For you, Divine Feminine, we have Buffalo. We got Buffalo. Here we are. All right. Buffalo, grounded yet heavenly, practical yet spiritual. The hooves of the mighty buffalo are grounded in the earth, yet its heart and mind rise toward heaven. The buffalo sees challenge, hardship, or a bump in the road as an opportunity for upliftment. Therefore, the buffalo does not fear death, illness, or misfortune. Its gentle eyes look to the road ahead, trusting every turn. May we all experience this il um, elusive yet life-changing bliss from time to time and may we allow this card to remind us that life is a precious gift when in balance buffalo is trusting and pure presence when out of balance buffalo is restless lacks gratitude to bring into balance um one can practice prayer or bhakti so this is definitely talking about the balance that you have come into divine feminine um and also recognizing that the challenges you have in front of you like this blockage within judgment and um uh justice with this third party situation it's okay you'll get through it this is a moment to grow and expand more there is and that's what i feel like part of the message that has been coming through for that um it's this I'm not sure if I actually said it, but it's like, it's seeing all of this, this, this like slow movement, maybe even hold up and using it as an opportunity to expand more. Okay. That's really beautiful. I just saw 27, 27 on the counter. That was fun. All right. So the shadow dynamic here is hyena. This card, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> This card is a little scary, <laughs> um, just in the way that it looks, but it's actually, I really don't think it's as bad as it seems, but it makes, it's fitting because this is the shadow dynamic. So where are you, hyena? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Hyena, humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser, but below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the card, when the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? When in balance, hyena is charming, witty, and fun to be around. When out of balance, hyena is scrappy, petty, and suspicious. To bring into balance, one needs sobriety. So this is a specific message for twins that are in communication. Do not, do not hide, behind, or at least try not to hide behind humor. Now, humor will definitely help you guys get through some tricky stuff. But if you are really in a process of purging and healing and talking about a lot of the things that um, have gone on within your relationship thus far, yes, humor is a good thing to help lighten the mood. But there's a time and place for everything. Like you can't just laugh everything away and expect everyone to just be okay with it. No, there are some moments where you're going to have to stop fucking around, excuse my language, but stop fucking around, that's how I came through, and really be serious, okay? That is a very specific message, but it wanted to come through, so there it is. 
And finally, the illuminated dynamic of the relationship, we have cheetah. There we go. Cheetah. Solar force. Action. Achievement. Masculine energy. The cheetah is the epitome of the solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah, it shines from inside this great creature and expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy within a cheetah personality is palpable to others and they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's fast uh, forward movement. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's forward momentum. So if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. When in balance, cheetah achieves anything, has boundless energy. When out of balance, cheetah is impatient and competitive. To bring into balance, one must reconnect to purpose. So this is an advice. This is advice for everyone. Really, pretty much. It is advice for all of us um, in the sense of perseverance, you know, if things are are not clear as to why you're going in a certain direction, it is absolutely okay to stop and look into the situation again, redefine again, and then move forward, yes? But also, Cheetah is a message for all of us that everything is going very, very well. Very, very well. We are moving quickly. We are moving swiftly. Even if, even for twins that are in separation, we are all moving quite swiftly and things are actually going very, very well for all of us. All right. There it is, guys. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you'd like a private reading with me, you know how to find me. And I wish you all a very successful and a beneficial week. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again in our next conversation. Yeah. Much love to you all. Take care. Bye.